congratulations to the Cardinals. They made enough plays to be able to win. Uh, not a lot of positives that you can take away from this. It's tough. It stings. Um, you know, there's just a lot of different reasons that we're in this position. You know, what, uh, what I think it really boils down to is when you do get a little bit of momentum, when you're really just trying to scratch and claw to create any bit of it, we've got to be able to play more complimentary football, whether that's we cut it to a one-possession game, we end up being able to get a stop and then, you know, transition to be able to get some points after that, or we end up having, you know, a three and out, do we get another stop? There's just so many different things, um, you know, not a lot of good to be able to take away from this. Um, but but we're going to continue to try to figure it out. But uh, this is uh, this was a challenging one. But I still have the same mindset and mentality where we're being tested. There's no doubt about it. And uh, and we got to be able to continue to you know have some resolve about ourselves and then have some better you know execution. And then when there's opportunities to be able to make plays, we got to be able to do that. And there are chances to be able to do it. Um, by no means am I not saying that there's not better positions that they could be put in. Uh, but I do want to see us be able to capitalize and make some of those critical plays when they're there to be had and some of these, hey, we're playing a man beater, they've got man coverage on, or we're in a man coverage, they've got a man beater on, and sometimes we've got to be able to win those one-on-one uh, -on -one isolations, and, and that's what it boils down to in a lot of instances in this game. I don't, I don't have any, anything on Cooper right now. I don't. I mean, I, I just know it didn't, it didn't look good. It didn't sound good. I haven't had any dialogue with Reggie, but um, we'll obviously have further updates later on. There was a possibility, like we had talked about, but I think, you know, going in alignment with all the things that we had discussed, um, Aaron on the side of, you know, being, you know, smart and safe uh, above all else and uh, making sure that he's feeling good and obviously clears all those steps, and, and we weren't quite there. Was there any drop-off from the first quarter to the second quarter and the game on the ground, but the second quarter is when Arizona really stepped up their rushing attack. How much of a difference does that make? I think it made a difference. You know, I think when you look at it, you start the game with a 15-play drive. Love to be able to score a touchdown, but you end up getting a field goal. You know, and then before the two-minute sequence, you only have two other drives, and you really go, you know, three plays and then four plays, and you're off the grass. And so they did a good job controlling possession when they're able to run the football like they were. Um, you know, it keeps your offense off the field. But there wasn't a lot of good things overall, and, and, and that's really just as straightforward as I can get with it. Coach, was there any thought process as far as possibly starting Bryce Parker? in the second half. You know, there were some things that, that we had discussed. We felt like that was the, the best, you know, decision for us. But um, everything's out, you know, and on the table for us. And, you know, got a lot of respect for Bryce and wish it put him in some better spots when he had his opportunities to be able to get in there today. The 14-play drive, um, sometimes called, you guys call it a scripted drive, um, mixed things up a lot. And then it seemed like, I'm guessing, what did you see? Or, or kind of yeah, it's really as simple as this. I mean, it's kind of, you know I, know, I know you know this too, but, you know, when you're able to be efficient on those early downs and then when you're not, then you can't get into any sort of rhythm and then you're off the field if you don't convert on third downs. So when you look at that first drive, that's reflective of you get a couple third down conversions, you get some efficiency where you start out the game with an eight-yard gain. Um, you know, you get some good hits in the run game and then you're in those third and manageables. Um, you're able to create a couple different plays where we're able to move the spot and, and that was a positive for us. Then you get into those next two drives, and when you're not efficient on those early downs and you're not converting on the thirds, um, that's tough sledding. And then when you don't get the opportunities to get back out there, you know that you're really not getting into any sort of rhythm, and, and that was what was reflected today. You had to know coming into this season it was going to be tough. Everybody's going to be targeting you. You had a long season. Defending the title is always tough. To see so many different things go wrong. Does that surprise you? Um, you know, I don't think anything necessarily surprises you in this league. I think there's been a lot of different things that have gone on, um, none of which gives us a reason to do anything but just try to be able to figure it out, pour into guys, try to get them to play at their highest potential. But there has certainly been uh, a lot of different elements that have that have led us to this part and, and to this point right here. And um, we're going to continue to compete. we got 80 games left for sure, and, and that's all where our focus and concentration will be. Coach, how are Lost three in a row. You're in last place in the division. How how can you turn this around? Well, there's a you know I don't know you know exactly what those answers are, but 
you know, it's in a lot of instances, some of the things that we talked about, being able to capitalize on momentum, being able to make some of the plays when they're there to be had. Um, you know, continuity has been a challenge for us, but every team deals with it, and um, it's not a good movie, and I'm a, I'm a part of it right now, and, and we got to be able to figure out um, how to make it better, how to improve, how do we play better, more complementary football, and whatever that means in terms of the results, we just got to be able to have a better product out there, start to see some improvement, and, and that's the challenging thing is there really hasn't been examples of that occurring and so got to be able to look at some of the things that we're doing process wise I got to be able to look at myself in the mirror and figure out you know what are those things because feel very responsible for us being in this position I'm never going to run away from the responsibility um, you know that I share with our team our players our coaches to be right here but um, you know there's 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 some things that I know we can do to be able to get better and I refuse to think anything else other than that uh, but I also want to see some of those things start to come to life and bear some fruit and, and we got to be able to do that and it's not one fix but there's a lot of different things that we have to be able to do better but challenging no doubt about it this defense has been proud of holding opponents to field goals today some uh, some touchdowns yeah. and um, particularly when they went up to 24 that sequence where was the breakdown what did you see you know, I'd have to go back and look at it. You know, there's, there was a lot of different things that you're just kind of trying to manage in those situations. So that particular instance, I can't talk about that right now. You had so much success. What is it like just for you personally to go through this kind of thing? How are you holding up? I'm, I'm doing good. You know, I mean, it's, it's humble. These are lessons where, you know, I've talked about it, and, and my mindset remains the same. You know, for whatever reason, you're being tested. You're being stretched in ways that you haven't been stretched before, but – it's easy to be able to sit up there and talk about, you know, the mental toughness, the resilience when things are going well. But, you know, this is where you're truly being tested. And how do you look inward? But, you know, I am interested in trying to help figure out some of these solutions so that we can play better football, you know. And, and this is all of us together, but there are some execution elements. There's certainly some things schematically that we're trying to be able to figure out, um, none of which is anything but an excuse. But I'm doing uh, – I'm going to be just fine, and we're going to keep swinging, and I'm going to try to do – the best I can to pour into these guys, get them to play to the best of their abilities week in and week out. Same thing with coaches, and that's all you can do. Last one, guys. He seemed to be a little bit more comfortable on the run and maybe in screen scenarios. What did you see out of that? Yeah, I thought, you know, some of the, those are some of the things that when you're trying to accentuate a guy's skill sets, being able to move the spot, different things like that, and certain, you know, where you have legitimate run pass options up at your disposal or where those things end up being um, a little bit more effective for you as opposed to some of those longer situations. But um, I thought there were some bright spots in that regard for sure. Okay, thank you guys.
challenge for you as a quarterback when you're going back and forth with another quarterback, sort of, or how does that work for you? Um, I didn't have much of a, of a difficulty with it today. Um, it was kind of the plan going in. What Bryce can do, um, give him some opportunities as well. And uh, ultimately, we, we didn't do enough to win the game. And um, I, I don't think it had much of an impact on me. It doesn't interrupt rhythm or anything like that? Or? Uh, I mean, you know, I think it was, it was so sporadic. It wasn't like it was a drive where I was completely out. Um, you know, it was just a play here or there. So no, not, not really. John, for you, you guys were uh, very efficient on that first drive next four, not nearly as much. Why the drop off in your eyes? Yeah, I mean, it comes down, it's cliche, but it comes down to, comes down to execution. And uh, we had some opportunities on third down that shot to, to Allen Robinson, uh, stay on the field. And, um, you know, but that's what it comes down to. We didn't execute well enough in those in those next drives. And, and that's why we didn't move the ball. Ever since Matthew was in concussion protocol, you're getting the reps. When did you know you're going to start? I found out. Um, Friday, you know, right around then. You think uh, the last drive of you and Van Jefferson when you guys scored a touchdown near the end of the game? Yeah, um, good, great play by Van, just off schedule, uh, working away, and uh, he made a great catch. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, there's no moral victories. We didn't get the win, um, but, I, but at least we battled. I was uh, upset with myself a little bit, um, you know, they, their, their safety cut the play late, and the linebacker got underneath. So uh, it was kind of a, a weird play. Um, but I, I hate to see him getting hurt, and uh, he worked so hard, and it's sad to see. John, it's not easy what you were asked to do, come in week 10, start in the regular season. But there were some times that you looked a little comfortable out there on the run and the screen game. When did you feel most comfortable? Yeah, I think I got a, in a rhythm in the second half. Um, first drive, obviously, was good as well. Um, but... You know, this is a tough sport. This is NFL football, and uh, you got to find a way to make more plays to win. I have a job to do, and you know, that's how it goes. John Cooper's been such a catalyst for this offense since he's been here. If he's out for any length of time, just can you quantify not having him in the lineup, what that would mean for you guys? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, arguably the best receiver in the league. Um, he's a great leader for us, and uh, we'll definitely feel impact of him not being out there, but guys got to step up and and we got a rally if he's not able to go. We don't even know the extent of the injury yet, though. So. All set? All right. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah.